This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. This program is supported by SMC Global Power. Welcome to Open for Business. Mapapanood nyo rin ang programang OFB sa Facebook at YouTube. Mag-like at mag-subscribe sa aming social media at Net25 TV. I am Cesar Vallejos. Welcome to Open for Business. Samahan ninyo kaming tuklasin ng iba't ibang pamamaraan kung paano mapaunlad ang inyong negosyo. Aalamin din natin mula sa mga eksperto ang mga pangunahing trends at mga estratehiya kung paano natin mapapanatili ang negosyo maliit. Mano malaki ay maging laging open for business. So how do you uh, put a balance to that, uh, listening to your audience while uh, giving priority to what the talent wants? I always say na ang kakampi ko yung show. Yun. Kahit na talent kita or you're one of uh, the network's big stars, mm -hmm. ang kakampi ko pa rin yung show. Yun. Kasi doon tayo eh, doon din kita ipapakita. Mm -hmm. So if it will not be good for the show, I will tell you. Yun. Because it will not also not be good for you. If you have content, like you, you have this platform, you have to make it available in all the other platforms. Hindi naman yun, possibly na kasi ngayon, di ba? You have to make it available and um, pwedeng ma-acquire in any gadget that I have. Is television losing its popularity? Is social media the new TV? Ganun ba, ma'am? Television, sa perception, akala mo, it's losing popularity. Kasi may bago, eh. Parang dumating lang to. But it will not go away. It will never go away. Mm -hmm. Even sa yung idea na, ay, mawawala na yung TV audience. Mawa magiging obsolete na ang television. I don't think so. It will be there. It's free to air. Mahirap yung labanan ngayon because you have to make your way, find your way in all this maze of content. And then yung audience, parang ang dami. Dami nilang nakikita. Ang dami nilang gustong panoorin. So your program has to be quick, snappy, and nandun agad. First five minutes, first five one minute ng show mo, na-attract mo na ako, I will stay. Ang maganda sa mga artista, ang swerte nila kung napili sila para mag-launch ng isang malaking uh, project. Kasi bibuild mo siya, ilo-launch mo siya as lead. No? So may pinili kaming dalawa, tapos syempre ito-tandem mo kasi tandems, love teams, mm -hmm. create fan base. How important um, to you is um, branding the artista or guiding them you know, in their um, career. Di mo ba napansin, lalo na sa, ano natin, sa industry ng mga artista natin, 
lahat sila may title. Superstar ka, megastar ka, star for all seasons ka, uh, Asia's Songbird ka, yun, or Asia's Nightingale ka. Lahat lalagyan. Kasi yun yung nagmamarka. Na position mo siya eh. Positioning is very important because it makes you different. It gives you, it differentiates you. At sasabihin na may value ka kasi may brand ka eh. Hi, I'm Alex Calier, isang podcaster, YouTuber, writer, director, at isang stand-up comedian for more than 12 years. Ang sarap maging komedyan sa Pilipinas, no? Dahil paborito ng mga Pinoy, pagsaluan ang mga nakakatawang eksena sa paligid. Pero dahil sa pandemic, ang kulitan, naging online na lang. Naranasan mo na ba to? Ginising ka ng nanay mo para tanungin lang kung anong oras ka gigisingin. <laughs> Pero masaya talaga pag sabay-sabay tayong nagtatawanan sa mga videos na gaya nito. <laughs> Ito pa! <laughs> Ito pa! <laughs> At ito pa! <laughs> Kaya naman, heto na ang Funniest Knockable Videos! Ang natatangin show na bubusugin ang buong sambenan sa katatawanan! <laughs> ang bagong tambayan ng buong pamilya at barkada mula lunes ang gabienes nyo kami makakasama tuwing 4.30pm dito lang sa NET25. Dito, mapapanood natin ang best comedy videos na hinanap pa namin sa kasulukan ng internet. So ano bang hinihintay nyo? Join na sa pinakabago at pinakamasayang afternoon habit ng tawanan at kulitan ang funniest snackable videos. It looks like a factory, but it is really a sustainable food farm. Fish below, vegetables above, no fertilizer, no pesticides, minimal water consumption. Aquaponics is in vogue and is feasible anywhere in the world. Could this be the future of our agriculture? Global 3000. Open for Business is back, and our guest today she is one of the most credible resource persons who can reveal the secrets and the future of TV broadcasting. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Wilma Galvante. Meron ka bang ano ma'am, parang um, your most ideal um, love team? Yung mga tipong parang paborito mo na parang gusto mong... Huwag paborito, wala akong paborito kasi... Ano, 
dapat paborito natin lahat oh, sila. Sige, sige. Pero yung they really worked on it? Yes, yes, yes. Si Marian, tsaka si Ding Dong. Mm. Di ba? They worked yeah. on it. Hanggang totoong buhay. Yeah. Yung sa umpisa kasi, si Marian, create, create mo siya as a queen, mm. the new network star. Yeah. Ganda din ang timing kasi meron, merong network uh, lead star na gustong umalis. Mm. So play on that drama also. Play on that. Tapos, naghanap kami. Now, bakit siya timing? Hindi ka naman makakakuha ng bagong queen kung meron ka pang queen, di ba? Mm -hmm. Eh, umalis o dilaruin mo to. Hindi ko style yung nampipigil eh. I will talk to you and tell you this. This is what you're gonna get when you stay. This is what the plans are for you. But at the end of the day, it's your choice. Mm -hmm. But it's I also decision. want to make you know that pagka ganyan, tatapatan kita that the strongest that I have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is what happens. Yun. But was Marian the parang ready to be queen during that time? Is she being Maraming groomed? Maraming aspiring. Pero na, uh, ano yan, network, network ano yan, uh, effort na hanapin sino. And we had a launching, we had a launching big project then, like yung Marimar. It's big. So sino si Marimar? Audition lahat yan. Maraming nag-audition. Tapos pinili. Tapos inayos. Internal na lahat, inayos. And then, matagal na siyang Marian eh. Mm -hmm. She was doing dramas in the afternoon. She was doing dramas na post-program uh -huh. ng Itbulaga. Sila yung partner siya with uh, 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 si uh, anak ni Vic Soto, si Oyo Boy. Oh, yeah. Sila lagi. Magaling tong batang to. <laughs> Ganyan. And then, that opportunity came. And she was one of those who auditioned. And she was picked. So, once... So, so, sorry, Miss Wilma, but you said, I remember the, the term, the operative term that you said, inayos. Mm -hmm. When you say inayos, uh, you mm -hmm. see mo ang face, pagagandahin mo, image, image, mo. You, you image, you image the talent. Okay. So yeah. when you say you image the talent, what are the what are the things that you Maganda na siya, 'di ba? Okay, yeah. Pero i-image mo siya doon sa project na gusto mong gawin. Noon. So, nung pinili siya, you you use everything not to make that talent popular and create more awareness. So even the telling her that ikaw yung napili, may coverage yun. May surprise, may ganyan, tinakbo sa news, prime time, may press release. It's like a big thing for the network. Tapos nandun na anticipation, she is going to be the new queen, ganyan, ganyan. Pinaglaban mo na, ito na yung uh, opinion ng lahat. And then, we image her. Uh, kasama dun yung uh, acting, kasama dun yung look. And then, Victoria, yeah. the next, after mga two months lang naman, lumabas na yung big billboards. Yung malalaking billboards all over. Tapos planned, There's a, there was a media plan. So that is part of, um, that's part of process. Huh? You know the project that you want to do? You create the project, and then you cast the project, and you work on marketing. Marketing is very important. Mm -hmm. Yun. So that's why you always have a media plan for everything that you do. Yun. Remember, at the end of the day, this is business. Yes. <laughs> diba? Hindi kita ginagawang sikat dahil gusto ko lang sumikat ka at nagagandahan ako sa'yo. Hindi ganun. Walang ganun. It's always because um, television is big business. Mm -hmm. uh, films, doing content is mm -hmm. big business. And speaking of um, television, doing content as big business, um, Ano po yung outlook ninyo of um, TV broadcasting here in the Philippines? Is it, um, will it continue to grow? You know, there were closures, there were uh, people who lost their jobs. Um, and then there's this new, um, new um, there's this digitalization. And a lot of uh, you know, people are embracing this. Uh, all the networks are actually embracing uh, digitalization in terms of their content. Where do you see um, TV broadcasting going? Uh, television will continue. Content creation will continue. 
offering the public entertainment, informative, educational content is is a um, necessity. How it will grow? Sa ngayon, parang ang hirap dahil ang daming kagipitan. Diba? Parang malungkot din. Kasi hirap na hirap tayong gumalaw. <laughs> ramdam na ramdam ng lahat yan. Kahit sinong makausap mo, ramdam yan. Tapos, kahit gusto mong gawin tong malaking malaking project na to as you envision it, alam mong hindi pwede. So, maghihintay ka. Pero, kailangan meron kang output. Kailangan mag-compete ka. Kailangan meron kang content na gagawin. So, we innovate. You know, that's one of my favorite um, operative words also yes, yes. Uh, in, in content production. You innovate. So, and for me, innovation is a never-ending process because the contents are there, the, the, the genres are there. It's well-defined. Ilan lang yan. Ilan ng formats. Yung concepts pwede mong malawakin. Pero, and daming concepts na pare-pareho lang. Mm -hmm. But how do you innovate on that same concept? How do you innovate on a gag show? Mm -hmm. How do you innovate on a on a fantasy show, on a on a comedy, on a talk show? Hirap mag-innovate sa talk show, 'di ba? Lifestyle, ano pag-uusapan mo sa lifestyle? How do you innovate on this? But once you know how what what you will put there, how you will tweak it, how you will cast it, yung papano yung mga maliliit na bagay na pag nilagay mo dyan, ibang iba ka na. Actually, <laughs> ideas yun eh. Ideas yun that you can come up with especially if you have a good team. If you have a team na alam nila kung saan sila magpo-focus. So, let's see, to innovate. For me, innovation is a never-ending process because once you innovate on a show, you know where to bring this program forward. How adapting to the times, adapting to what's available. Um, and then being honest also to yourself na alam mong pagkapilit, hindi maganda. Aminin mo, wag natin gawin to. <laughs> Di ba? May, may ganun. Yeah, but when you talk, uh, Miss Wilma, of uh, innovation, it does not necessarily pertain to technology, correct? It could be uh, based on our discussion uh, earlier, it could be your artista, it could be your mm -hmm. the concept, it could mm -hmm. be the story. Pero ano saan yung sources mo ng innovation? How do you how do you find and how do you find that concept or that area where you uh, you gusto ko you innovate ito? You know, how do you get that uh, innovation? Sometimes it just clicks. <laughs> Talent talaga yun. You, you, you have it or you don't have it. Parang ganun po ba yun? Oo. Or mangopia ka lang. Obvious naman kung mangongopia ka lang, di ba? Uh, mahirap yun. Hindi, pero pag, pag sinabi mong kopya, lalo na sa TV business po, is there something really that you can say original talaga? No. Hindi. Hindi. Nagawa na yan eh. Hmm. Ang, ang, ang difference is, ikaw, paano mo ginawa? <laughs> so, like, for example, your program, um, Kada Umaga, yun. Una sa lahat, ang ganda ng title. Kasi araw-araw may umaga. <laughs> Hindi ba? Oo, oh, lang pagtatalunan doon. Oh. Hindi makakalimutan ng audience yun. Ang kailangan na lang ikalat mo na merong ganitong programa, Kada Umaga. And then, uh, casting. Yung casting, maglalagay ka dyan, maraming pangalan. And then, you narrow it down to sino yung magkakaroon ng tamang chemistry. Mm -hmm. Yun. May ano din yan, uh, ito, itong tao na to ito siya, yung ugali niya, e eh, dito siya pwede ilagay. Makikita mo yung timpla. Mm -hmm. Timpla yung tawag natin, di ba? Tapos, uh, importante lalo na yung sa umaga, maganda sila. Mm -hmm. Fresh, o ang ganda ng personalidad, mm -hmm. or credible yung personalidad, yun. At saka, alam mo, on a, on a, on a personal note, uh, Miss Wilma, ikaw ba, ano yung viewing habits mo kada umaga? Or what do you do? Kasi kaya ako natanong Miss Wilma, uso na rin daw ngayon yung micro moments, di ba? Kaya parang somehow 
nawawala na daw po yung ano eh, yung prime prime time nan prime kasi sinasabayan mo na yung micro moments ng mga manonood. Example, ang micro moments na sinabi doon sa isang research, katabi mo yung telepono mo, pagising mo, tingnan mo sino nag-message or sino nasa mm. <laughs> nag-like sa Facebook mo. Mm. That is a micro moment. Uh, what is your micro moment and what do you think is it that people want to see kada umaga? What people want to first you what is my micro moment? Uh, I'm not your ordinary viewer. Eh. Hindi hindi ako yung ordinary viewer. When I watch something parang pinoproduce ko siya palagi eh. so hindi pwedeng hindi ako ordinary viewer my daughters they don't want to be with me when i watch a show kasi iba yung nakikita ko uh, ang perspective mo ikaw na nagpo-produce okay Yon. so uh, uh, what is it that you know people would want to see kada umaga on a producer's uh, okay. point of view ano uh, ayan yung laman ng mga morning shows ngayon something that will refresh them something that is um Uh, positive. Um, bibigyan ka ng magagandang that will make you anticipate your day na I can work out this day kasi na-inspire ako or uh, feel. You, you feel good. All the morning shows attempt to do that. I think kada, kada umaga successful there. Um, What about news commentary? Miss uh, Wilma, lalo na malapit ang eleksyon. We have, uh, of course, we have uh, the wittiest uh, ladies in 25 now with uh, our show um, ASPN. Ano ang, uh, when, when um, you were part of the team that created ASPN, what is it with news commentary? Alam natin na mataming mga news commentaries din. But, um, sa umaga din. Sa umaga Kasi din. Kasi ang commentary, radyo yan eh. Diba? Um, sa umaga, makikinig ka rin ng news. Importante, makinig ka ng news. Ngayon, uh, bombastic. Mm-hmm. Yung mga uh, morning uh, newscast, yung commentary. Nakikinig ako niyan. On my way to work, uh, nasa nasa radio ako nakikinig ako nung mga ganon so but anyway yung pa after kada umag magandang magkomentary rin dito parang wala what if we do this and it just clicked on me na teka si Ali at saka itong si Patty pareho namang walang ginagawa di ba so tinawagan ko yung isa tinawagan ko yung isa parang tinitimpla ko lang din kung ano yung feel nila kung gagawin. Eh, mga veterano eh, sa radyo. At saka sadyang uh, opinionated, sadyang madaldal. Mm-hmm. Yun. So, what if we bring these two women together and um, come up with a commentary show talking about hard news, interviewing people, um, government Uh, officials, people who figure in the news, and then draw out from them kung ano yung sitwasyon talaga. But this coming from women. Mm-hmm. So, after several episodes of us airing, may feedback akong natanggap. Sabi niya, you know, I like, your sh- I like this show, ASPN, kasi hindi siya vicious. That word, vicious, na parang yun yung pakiramdam mo pag nakikinig ka ng ibang komentary na mm-hmm. programa. Na... Vicious man parang masyadong maangas, masyadong galit, matapang, oo, oo, galit oo. na ano, Sila, nagigigil. Sila, may tapang, pero hindi yung ganong, suntok ka na lang tayo. Kasi <laughs> 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 oh. hindi ganon. So, yun yung pinakamagandang observation na hindi ko. So, that's yun, sabi ko, successful siya. And then, who do you target? You target the same audience as in the morning, but mostly you target the, the women listeners and the women viewers. Ba? Kasi makikinig sila sa kapwa eh. Ganun. At malaking slice ng, ng pie ang female uh, audience, especially that age level, in the morning, na concerned. Gusto malaman ano nangyayari sa paligid, sa, sa balita. Mm-hmm. Yeah, speaking of women, Miss Wilma, um, sabi nga ay um, isa na kayo sa, you know, you're one of the pillars in Philippine television because of your achievements. And uh, we... Also learned that that 
did not happen naman you know overnight you mm -hmm. we we um, your experience at nalaman namin you work as a production assistant as you mm -hmm. mentioned you know <laughs> you started from you know from as uh, mm -hmm. from being a trainee but ang pagkakaiba sa iyo you worked with the best in the industry may Lino Broca kayo may Miss Lupita kayo so how was working with the best in the industry and ano po yung learnings yun doon siguro kasi marami din tayong you know, nakikinig PA na. ako nila <laughs> <laughs> oo P production assistant ako ni Lino Broca nung ginagawa niya yung pinakamatitindi niyang drama sa television ha Nora o Norhild ako na PA ako noon PA trainee so um, pero PA lang tsaka floor director yun when you're PA and you're floor director, you have no choice. You have to understand the whole show. That was me as a PA. Hindi lang yung kailang gawa ko sequence guide hanggang sequence guide lang ako, hindi. I understood the whole thing. Tapos, uh, pati reading <laughs> sa artist na ginagawa ko. I learned from them. Ang ganda. Ang gandang panoorin nung Lino Broca, nung uh, ni Lupita. Even now, kahit si Al Queen, even si Johnny Manahan, pag nagdi-direct sila, mm -hmm. I'm, uh, parang anong tawag doon, mangha, I'm old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Napanood ko sila mag-direct. Napanood ko yung show mabuo. Yun. And I'm uh, always... Um, with that thought na from from a thought form tapos makikita mo na siya as a show mm -hmm. buong buo na siya kahit every time na mayroong bagong show i feel that way mm -hmm. I, f I feel that way with um every little show that i conceptualize now hanggang sa mabuo siya Mm -hmm. Kada umaga, ASPN, yung the same excitement and the same intensity from the shows na Star Talk, SOP, tagal-tagal na yung maraming shows. Every show is a new show. Yun. Yeah. Hindi mo sasabihin sa sarili mong, alam ko na yan, yan na yan. Yeah, but, but you were exposed with the best already, best directors in the country like Lino Broca. Bakit, hindi mo, bakit naisip mo na hindi maging director? Bakit naisip mo, producer? Mm, gusto ko maging producer. Kasi nung, nung PA ako, mayroong isang mataas ang rank niya sa network. Sabi niya sa akin, uh, dalawa yan. Pag-aralan mo kung anong gusto mong maging. As you climb the ladder in this business, do you want to be a producer or do you want to be a director? Yun. Parehong challenging yung work. So, inaral ko. Then I decided, I can be a director. Yun. But, um, uh, I'd rather be the producer kasi gusto ko ako yung kumukumpas. <laughs> Yun. Gusto kong buuin. Gusto ko yung big picture na tapos bubuuin mo siya. Interesting. Now, I have, you know, a few personal questions about best work in terms of ratings and profitability. Kahit na hindi yung best, best, but you think this is something you know, very successful in the market. Mm. Lahat ng mga nag-rate sa prime time, um, and even, mahirap yung gumawa ka ng Sunday noontime show eh. Mm -hmm. Yun, kasi mahirap yung competition dyan. Uh, matagal, hihintayin mo yun, tapos aralin mo yung casting, yung production numbers sa loob, yung ganyan. Uh, lumaban naman siya, so maganda. And then the, the, the talk shows, the talent search, yung mm, Star yes, Talk, yes, yes, Artista yes. Academy on TV5, Magandang gumawa ng ganun because you discover talents. Ang dami, ang dami nating magagaling. Mm -hmm. Yun. Ang dami rin uh, uh, nakaabang dyan. Tapos para saluhin, ako na mag-manage sa'yo, yung ganyan. Yeah. Uh, yung unang-una kong talent show, Bagong Kampiyon. Mm. Bagong Kampiyon. Uh, that was my first program when I was made head of production of RPN9. So, dito pa, ma'am, sa... Uh, what is the... Sa Broadcast City. Broadcast City, City pa. Oo. So, sabi ko, parang... Kasi nung... In, before, alam mo yung tawag ng tanghalan. Apo. That program. Pinapanood ko yun nung, <laughs> nung nasa school pa ako. Tapos yung... Yung dad ko, we, we were living in this uh, apartment place na kami lang may TV. Pag grand finals ng, ng tawag ng tanghalan, ilalabas ng dad ko yung TV. 
para makanood yung buong neighborhood. <laughs> Nangyayari yun, okay. manunood talaga lahat. Kasi finals. So, nagpanalo si Nora o Nora, yung ganyan. Nanunood lang ako, mangha ako dun sa program. The first chance that I, I had na sinabi sa akin na, o anong show ang gusto mong gawin? Ginawa ka yung bagong kampiyon. Tinawagan ko si, si Maestro Dominic. Siya yung tawag ng tanghalan. Yun. Sabi ko, ah, Maestro, pakilala ako, no? Gusto ko pong gawin to. Ganyan. Tapos tinulungan niya ako. Binuo namin yung bagong kampiyon. Bagong kampiyon, um, dyan si Regine. Si Regine Velasquez na 1984, she was my grand champion. Yun. So, Regine, through the years, ayan, hanggang ngayon, ano, ah, uh, one of my kumbaga uh, talent na talagang nagmarka. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nag-start 'yan, talagang competition kung saan-saan siya pumupunta. Yes, yes, yes. Tapos nagnanalo siya sa bagong kampiyon. Tapos pinick up na siya ng mga so, ma, ma, makikita mo yung talent once it's in you pagkatapos gusto mo talaga you work on your talent. Yun. Succeed ka, but you have to have a platform first. Yeah. Lahat ng artist na yan, magaling na magaling ka, ganda-ganda mo, sa ng talent mo, pero wala kang stage. Mm-hmm. Okay. So wala. So that's the importance of networks. Okay, mm-hmm. and uh, the talent you worked with, who had the most significant imprint? And I think that's you said that's already... Uh, si Regine. Regine. Si... Regine. Uh, yung... Galing sa mga talent search. Effort yung sa kanila eh. Yes. The biggest <laughs> challenges you encountered? Making a program rate. Yeah. At saka, uh, making a program stay on the air na kasi gusto na siyang kansilahin ng network. <laughs> 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 Tapos nasalba mo. Ang ganda oh. nun. Oh. Interesting. But programs will end. There would be a cycle na kahit ano ka na, ilan lang ang itbulaga. Isa parang stand alone si Itbulaga. Yun, Bubble Gang, ilang taon na yan, di ba? Uh, ilan lang yan, winner na si Itbulaga. <laughs> Ganun. Okay. And then, uh, how did you prepare for leadership? I uh, I understand you've been a scholar all your life. No, I did not. I, hindi ko alam yun, consciously preparing for leadership. Hindi ko wala akong ganun. I just work. I just work and then uh, I, I apply myself to to the work that I, I decide to do. Mm-hmm. Yun. To be a leader, hindi kasi yun yung goal. Just para umayos lang to. Doon ka lang. <laughs> so along the way, they make you this, they give you this, yung ganyan. So that's just part of the, ano na lang yun, aside for me. Ah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, if there is something, Ms. Wilma, that you wanted to rewind in Philippine television, what, what would that be and why? So rewind muna. Tapos later on, what is it that you want to erase, pause, and play over and over again? Mm, the mga shows, you mean? Or it could be a show, kaganapan it could be industrial. a kaganapan, it mm. could be something in your life uh, related to your work in Philippine tele- television. Uh, wala akong masabi eh. Kasi... Everything kung i-rewind ko, uulitin ko, I will just do it again with, this, with, the, with the same intensity and the same focus. Uh, tapos, kasi yung, ito na yung bago, pag tapos na siya, tapos na eh. <laughs> Di ba? Hindi ko na yan babalikan. It's like when you say, one show down, go to the next. Yun. Yun. Ganun yung attitude ko eh. So, play over and over again, parang kasi gusto mong panoorin, kasi lang nagagandahan ka. Pero para i-air ulit, baka hindi na siya gusto ng audience ngayon. ba? Diba? Iko-consider mo yun eh. Um, pero ang daming magagandang shows. Ang daming magagandang shows na nagawa na natin. Marami pa rin namang pwedeng gawin. Dami rin shows na magaganda na gawa ng iba. Mm-hmm. Yun. And all this contributed to the growth of our industry. To the growth of the channels, of the platforms. And even now that they migrated from free to air, nakita mo na siya digital, ang dami ng producers at ang dami ng instant stars, ang dami ng uh, instant sensation. Madali rin, instant din mawawala. <laughs> so, 
Ibang effort na yun Marami sustaining pa, your... Marami pa, Miss no? Wilma, ang pwedeng gawin sa television. But what is it that you still want to do uh, for television? For television? Sana ngayon, uh, to, to... Yung matulungan siya na maangat, katulad ng the way Korea, for example, the government... Mm -hmm helps yeah. the networks yes. or the industry the industry prosper diba sa korea foreign ano bakit tayo impressed na impressed mm -hmm. at bakit lumaki yung industry niya that it became parang it's identified with the country yes. not only with the shows or with the mm -hmm. talents it's the country mm -hmm. kasi support yun eh sinuport for example yung mga series nila yung mga drama sila mga movies nila Oh, with government support to ha, do this in Busan, do this in this mm. province, do this in this province. Set up sila, location yon, may set, ginawa, kinonstruct, iniwan, at ginawang tourist attraction. Yeah. <laughs> so nakadagdag yun. And that's how they build their stars. Bagong-bagong artista, sabi hindi, ilalaunch kita rito, sikat. Diba? It's backed with support, it's backed with training, it's backed with um, yung technical excellence. Mm -hmm. Technical excellence. So is that lacking in, in us? Is that yes. lacking in, in yes. the Philippines? Yes. Ang gagaling ng artista natin. Ang gagaling yeah. ng director oh, natin. Yeah. Maganda tayo mag-script. Tsaka ang gaganda ng tourist spots natin. Pero konti lang budget natin. So, pag makita mo yung budgeting nila, they spend for it. Pero bawi naman yun eh. But, is it, or what about, um, you know, you, you mentioned about Korean uh, content. Ang napapansin po natin, di ba? Parang ang daming, you know, lalo na sa Netflix ngayon, talagang sila yung mm. nangunguna. Lalo na yung napakalakas mm. ngayon, you know, it made history sa yung Squid Game, which is also produced by them. Mm. Is, what is it in uh, Korean dramas, Korean content, uh, why not only the Philippine uh, market, you know, loves it, but the whole world, is it, is it their, the quality of their material? Yung sinasabi mo nga, Ms. Wilma, ah, nasa kanila kasi yung technical expertise. Mm -mm. Yung, or is it... May um, pera din sila. Ayan, may, may pera din sila. Or is it yung talent din nila? Yung talent. itsura ba ng mga... Ano? Scripting and storytelling. Yung mga artista doon, di man yung sikat nung una eh. Iba, ilan lang siguro may name, pero biglang merong aangat. Even the mascot, mas sikat siya. <laughs> diba? It's in the, the way you tell your story. Squid Games is a story. Diba? It is a story. It's not only a game. May storya dun eh. And parang in all the things that you do, you, you, you create, you tell a story. So how do you tell your story? And also, I noticed, um, you know, Miss Wilma, with the productions that we did, you are also very critical on details. Uh, example, like production design, you know, how a background must be uh, created in such a way that it should give depth. So mm. is this also a science? Is this also something that's part of the creative and production process to create yeah. a, a really good class yan. material? Uh, pinag-aaralan yan and you would know um, when you watch a show ordinary viewers uh, they cannot define this but they can tell na maganda to <laughs> ganda tong set na to ito hindi hindi na nila madedefine yun iba ikaw na nagpo-produce dapat alam mo yun kung paano noon so we learned it mm -hmm. yun ma'am in other countries ang medyo bida yung mga artista um, at hindi masyado yung the people behind it. And based on my research, you gave priority to scriptwriters, content mm. producers, segment producers, directors. Even music. Yes. So, mm. why is this thrust towards the people who are behind the camera? They make the show. They tell your story. <laughs> Sila yan. Every little detail. Uh, one time, yung may, may uh, 
trainee siya eh. Tapos sa, sa show, it was a live show. Sabi ko, sige, yung uh, gusto niya daw maging writer. Yun. Tapos sabi ko, oh sige, gusto mo maging writer. Fresh graduate ito ha. Sulatin mo yung idiot board. Yeah. <laughs> idiot board. Walang teleprompter eh. Tumuan nila paper, pen, pen. Sulatin mo yung idiot board. Tapos parang yung ano niya na, ang tagal kong nag-aral. Tapos pasusulatin mo ko ng idiot board. <laughs> Okay. Sinabi niya yun na, habi ko, okay, sige, basta sulatin mo. Pagkatapos, ang gawin mo, intindihin mo yung nakasulat dyan, ha? Tapos tumayo ka dun sa harapan, show na, live to, hawakan mong mabuti. Try mong ibagsak, <laughs> di ba? Pag ilaglag mo yan, titigil lahat. You see how important it is that for you, you want to be a writer, I want you to write the idiot word, you write it well. <laughs> so, gawin mo yun. Alam mo, siya ngayon ang one of my best writers. Hmm. Sumunod, umaayos na siya. Sabi ko sa, oh, eto yung kanta, ito music. I-lyric mo yan, gawin mong comedy. Yun. <laughs> <laughs> so, ganun. With the many things happening, ma'am, on um, Philippine television, um, what is your, and with the pandem pandemic going on, um, do you think there's um, going to be um, greater improvements, more improvements? Are you looking at um, uh, Philippines adapting also the standards of Korea or Hollywood? Uh, what is it that you, do you feel that? Because uh, na, 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 napapansin ko rin ma'am based on, because you're so um, knowledgeable uh, on current events and you feel, you know, what other countries are doing also in terms of entertainment. Receptive ba ang Pilipinas? Receptive ba sa palagay mo din ang political system natin? Lalo na sinasabi mo. In other countries, they give financial aid. They mm -hmm. give, may tax incentives pa po, di ba? Mm -hmm. Yun sa ano, like uh, I also read, kahit nga yung Jeju Island, di ba? Parang talagang all ano, spots there are mm -hmm. uh, converted into mm -hmm. tourist spots na pinag-shooting mm -hmm. nag -nag lang sila doon. Do you sense that? Do you have, do you see that, you know, not necessarily in the immediate, in the immediate future, but maybe in five, ten years, kaya ba yun natin? Oh, sige, ma'am. Depends on leadership and the support that, you know, depends on leadership. Oh, sige. Maganda. Uh, sorry, mama, I have to stretch this because you mentioned that very interesting <laughs> topic in terms of leadership. Malapit na ang eleksyon po, paano nakakatulong ang telebisyon sa pagsuporta sa isang magandang liderato na nangunguna sa bansa? We know the power of television and this is also the essence of uh, media. How do you, you think uh, Philippine television, the role of Philippine television in um, helping, uh, supporting uh, the government create content? Because for me, sub media, you have to um, be balanced, eh, Information ka. If you're hard news, yung if you're hard news, talagang ilay down mo yan. Ito yung nangyayari, ito yung situation, ito yung mga tao, the who, why, where, when, and how. Yung ganyan yan. Now, if you're a commentary show, then that's where opinions come up. That's when you talk to the candidate, you talk to the government official, and draw out ano talaga yung sa kanya. Mararamdaman ng audience yan. You are just the platform. Again, you are the platform as a, as a network, as a media entity. You are the platform. I-deliver mo lang yan sa tao. Mm -hmm. Nasa tanong mo rin kung anong gusto mong ipalabasin sa kanya. You can sway. That's true. So, call mo yan kung gusto mong gawin ganun. People can also tell. Yun. But we can sway opinion. That's true. Media can do that. Um, we, uh, we can tell them exactly what's happening. We can predict. Media can do that. So, but I always um, expect media, especially news, to be balanced. Mm -hmm. Wow, uh, I have a lot of questions still, Miss Wilma, but we are uh, running out of time and it's really a privilege to be speaking with you open for business. It's really a privilege to have you. Net25 family is very pleased to have you here. Um,
for you, my last question, maybe if you can talk to our audience and um, your tips or your... Uh, there's a lot of students of journalism also uh, and communication who are um, watching, uh, students are watching because they want to um, you know, find opportunities, um, job opportunities, especially now that everybody's mm -hmm. online. Uh, your message to our audience, Ms. Wilma. Um, trivia. <laughs> uh, one time, yung uh, nangyayari pa yung advertising congress, di ba, meron yan, yes. and you participated in an advertising congress. I was invited to talk on um, on television to content. Uh, tapos kinocompare yung laman ng mga shows na ito. Why do you do these kinds of shows? Parang sinasabi nila, irresponsible irresponsible programming. Yun daw mga sitcoms natin, yung mga ganyan, hindi daw maganda. Advertising Congress to, no? So, maraming estudyante sa audience. Uh, and also, people from the trade. So, I gave examples of the shows that I have been doing. So, pinakita ko lahat yan. Habi ko, eto, programa na to, uh, matagal to, na great ito. Yan. Pero sinasabi nyo, ayaw nyo to. Eh, bakit nyo ini-sponsoran? Ito ang show na to. Maganda rin to. Kasi ang values sitcom yun, ha? Ang values nito, tungkol sa uh, dalawang, um, yung pamilya na aging na sila, tapos ito yung mga anak nila, paano nila nirerendahan para hindi mag maiba yung, para tama yung pag-uugali. Hindi siya masyado na great. I had to cancel this show. Kasi hindi nyo ini-sponsoran. <laughs> Sina mismo pinalakpakan nila sa sarili nila. Kasi <laughs> if we produce programs like this and you support it, it will stay on the air. Diba? Even now, it's like that. So, he, uh, when, when you talk to me and, and uh, ask me to, to uh, contribute concepts for the platform, for the network, I said, sige, but first let us understand how do you want the positioning to be. This is now uh, branding. No? Talking about how do you, how is your branding as a network? What is your personality as a network? What do you want to be sa mata ng audience? Ba? Gusto mo bang mainstream ka? Lahat-lahat gagawin mo? Or gusto mo bang lifestyle ka lang? Or niche ka? News ka lang? And then, uh, parang we agreed on let us be wholesome. Let us be family. Let us be um, uh, although sasabi mong cliche, sinasabi palagi let's feel good. Um, gusto ko yun kasi challenge yun. Challenge yun. It brought me back to that day when I was talking in front of these advertisers <laughs> and telling them ang ganda ng values ng show. Hindi siya nagre-rate. Had to cancel because walang sponsors. Sponsoran nyo. Yung ganoon. Pero tayo ngayon, maganda kasi you want that eh. Network na yung may gusto na ganun yung gawin. So, very good. I will do this. I'll create programs for you and with you. Noon, that will position the network this way. As family, as wholesome family viewing, as um, entertaining, pero hindi tayo extreme. Uh, we can do that. Pwede naman. Tapos, well, for once, I'll do this na hindi kasi sinasabi sa akin, o oh, dapat bukas mag ka na. Yun. Kasi alam naman natin, hindi mangyayari yun. Diba? Hindi mangyayari agad yun. But then, you will build your audience and you will get the appreciation. Yung appreciation na sinabi nga, I like this show kasi it's not vicious. I get the information, I feel the intensity of the interviews. But it's not vicious, mm. diba? That alone for me is a winner. <laughs> love it, love it. Uh, and I have one final question, but before I give that final question, uh, you have to answer it correctly. What is your favorite show on Net25? Ay, marami pa ang dadating eh. <laughs> Mayroon sagutin kasi... Uh, lahat ng shows na gagawin natin, favorite ko yan. yan. Thank you so much, Miss Wilma Galvante.
open for business. We'll be back. Stay with us. Two hours. Ay, salamat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Ma maraming, maraming salamat. Blends. <laughs> Alam namin ang iyong pagsisikap. Dama namin ang iyong mga sakripisyo. Kita namin ang pagharap mo sa bawat pagsubok. Kaya sa kabila ng mga hamon ng buhay, nandito kami para umalalay. Kasi katulad mo, gusto rin namin ang magandang bukas para sa kanya. Hatid namin ang dekalidad na edukasyon at makabagong pasilidad sa abot kayang halaga. Kaya huwag ka ng mga mba. Sasamahan ka namin ito pa rin ang mga pangarap niya. Maaasahan mong sulit dito ang mga pinagsikapan mo. Sa aming mga makabagong pasilidad at sistema ng edukasyon. May lalabas natin ang aking talino at mga kakayahan niya. Kahit sa munting halaga, makakasiguro ka na makakasabay siya sa mabilis na pag-ikot ng mundo. Sa new era, karamay mo kami sa bawat hamon. Kaagapay mo kami sa bawat hakbang. Kasama mo kami sa bawat niti at tagumpay. Alex Calier, isang podcaster, YouTuber, writer, director, at isang stand-up comedian for more than 12 years. Kaya naman, heto na ang Funniest Knockable Videos, ang natatangin show na bubusogin ang buong sambenan sa katatawanan. Ito ang bagong tambayan ng buong pamilya at barkada. Mula lunes ang gabienes nyo kami makakasama tuwing 4.30 p.m. Dito lang sa NEP. 25. Dito, mapapanood natin ang best comedy videos na hinanap pa namin sa kasulok-sulukan ng internet. So, ano pang hinihintay nyo? Join na sa pinakabago at pinakamasayang afternoon habit ng tawanan at kulitan ang funniest snackable videos. Dito nyo lang unang maririnig breaking news. Talagang uh, napag-isipan ninyo wag na pong tumakbo. Si Mayor Sara ay tatakbo. I will say you will consider. Pati meron mas maganda pang mechanism para matulungan natin yung ating mga super. Ito yung Pantawid Pasada Program. Ano sa palagay ninyo? Suspindihin muna yung excise tax on fuel? O kawala naman ng 131.4 billion sa government revenues na pandemic response natin yan sa 2022? Mga isyong siguradong tatapak sa inyong umaga. So, yan, Batter yan. Stories. Sabi nga mawala ka na ng kuryente, huwag ka lang mawala ng tubig. Ako ay no? agree. Paano ka maglilinis? Paano ka maliligo? Doon talaga nag-uumisa ang sakit. Sige nga, pakwento nga dito sa talinong ang sinitong COVID-19 na to. Kuda, walang, walang utak yung COVID-19 na yan. Dapat mas mautak tayo. <laughs> Gaano karami po ba ang uh, nadagdag sa ating populasyon na tulad ng inaasahan natin? Ito ay mas mababa kaysa nung 2019. Sila ang source ng pinag-uusapan ngayon. ASPN. Bawal ang bata except for yung essential travel or for work, hindi ba? Maaasahan ho ba na ating mga healthcare workers na bago po magtapos ang taon, yung kanilang mga benepisyo po ay maibibigay na po sa kanila. Yung ibang mga opisyal, naroon pa rin sila at nakaupo pa rin sa PhilHealth. Have they been administratively charged. May mga kaso na ito. Sa DICT, um, all the LGUs, as long as nagpabakuna ka, dinadang, binibigay nila yung record na yon sa DICT. Ano sa palagay nyo? Kasama si na Ali Soto at Pat Pindaza. Ibig sabihin po, ang pamahalaan ay hindi maaring makialam. Oh. Then, gusto mo sa... parang may emergency intervention. Ang gobyerno pwede humimasok. Talaga bang totoo, isasarado muna ang Dolomite Beach? Yes, sarado na po siya until November 3. So we're trying to look at it. Uh, kung paano naman namin uh, kakasuhan din, pabalik, itong kusyana na ito. Salamat po sa inyo. 
sa inyong suporta sa PNP at para sa ating mga pulisan. Lunes hanggang biyernes, alas 8 hanggang alas 10 na umaga. Simulcast sa Net25. Kasi pag kumuhay ka ng ganyan, kumakalembang yung mga dito mo. <laughs> DZEC 1062 Mega Manila. Eagle FM 95.5. Facebook at YouTube. In the Philippines, television is a primary source for media consumption. Free-to-air TV remains a household staple for the majority of the population with lower-income households relying on free content for news and entertainment. The challenge now is for broadcasters to elevate their content to compete at the global level. We have the talent and the potential, but it's up to Filipino producers to meet the challenge. And with that, our quote of the week is from actor Dwayne Johnson. He said, Success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success. Greatness will come. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood ng Open for Business. Thank you to our guest, Ms. Wilma Galvante, and our correspondents, Randy Bernardino and Jasmine Agustin. Samahan ninyo kaming muli sa Open for Business sa susunod na linggo. Learn more insights from CEOs, thought leaders, industry experts, and SMEs promoting business development in the Philippines, keeping you informed and open for business. Be ahead of the curve from vision to action. Panoorin din ang programang OFB sa Facebook at YouTube. Mag-like at mag-subscribe sa aming social media at Net25 TV. Para sa Open for Business, ako po si Cesar Vallejos. We live in interesting times. This program is supported by SMC Global Power. This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Welcome to Global 3000.